Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so I've been asked a lot lately about this right here, my hot tub. And this is probably the coolest thing I've probably ever bought offline. And I wanted to show it to y'all because I've been asked about it. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the Coleman Lazy Spa that I bought offline. So here we go. guys so I want to give you a little brief history about this thing right here this winter one of my buddies took a chance and bought one of these got it as a Christmas pre he got it as a Christmas present and he paid three hundred and forty nine dollars for this hot tub oh it wasn't this one but it was one just like it <laughs> after sitting in it about ten times I was like I gotta buy one of these so I went online ordered off walmart.com for three hundred and forty nine dollars and I tell you it's the best three hundred and forty nine dollars I've ever spent it is it is legit it is totally legit I'm telling you it is it is it has definitely made the back porch the place to be I even put in a TV over here Apple TV Netflix went to the next level with this hot tub right here so let's walk around it All right guys, so I took the top off right here and literally this top is like like the equivalent of like one of those floaties in the pools. It's just a blown up air mattress kind of kind of material right here where like you can you basically you just blow it up. You, you just pump it up with the pump right here when you go to inflate it. Now, okay, you might be wondering like this is an inflatable hot tub and it is going to be rickety and it's just going to collapse. No, watch this. Watch. But I'm literally sitting on the edge of this thing, right? Sitting on it. I've literally had like five people sitting on the edges of this. It doesn't go down at all. So if you're wondering if this thing's kind of rickety, it's totally not. It's like raft material. And inside these things is like the way it's built, the way the air does its thing. Not an engineer, but it's sturdy. And I have yet to have to pump this up. I think one thing that really helps it is that it's at 104 degrees, so the air inside the, the material stays expanded and keeps it from being like soggy. So if you're wondering about this thing, it stays, it, it'll go all the way up to 104 degrees, which uh, is plenty hot because you can only stay in this bad boy for like 20 minutes. Um, I usually keep it around 102 just for safekeeping. That's plenty warm. Gets down to 100, it's kind of getting lukewarm. But uh, I put bromine in it. It comes with one of these little bobber things. <clears throat> So like chlorine and bromine in that is no problem. You just put one of those little bitty cubes in it or two or however you feel frisky and it keeps it clean. I suggest getting one of these. It's just a uh, little screen, pool screener from Walmart. You just gotta sift it real like, takes like five seconds when you get in or get out because your feet are going to get dirty. Now as far as the filtration system on this, I'll show you. There's a filter right there and there's a filter right there. All you do is just unscrew them off. Just like that. And it's got a filter in there that you can get off Amazon. They're not expensive and you just change them out like once or twice. You just change them out about once every two weeks or so. You can see the pump just turned on right there. So as far as it staying clean, it stays clean. Uh, you just got to keep your feet from getting dirty and getting in it. Make sure the people that are getting in it don't spill their beer, their drinks, their food, or have their feet in it when they're dirty and the water will last a long time. You just gotta, you know, monitor it just like anything else. 
this thing was awesome and if I want to take it down I can drain it deflate it and put it in the closet or take it on vacation if I'm going to the campgrounds which makes it awesome when I first got this thing people were like oh that's so redneck or oh that's so low class but I tell you what I'm sitting in a hot tub and they ain't that's a fact Jack I got a TV right here I'm gonna be watching that Roll Tide Alabama and Samantha's gonna be watching Clemson on that TV it's probably gonna get bigger by then it's probably gonna be a bigger TV so as far as sorry not sorry because we're gonna be watching it in style but for the price point on this thing for $349 I could go through two of these a year for like three or four years and still beat the price of buying one that's actually a big hard top installed and so I'm not sweating it. Six people can get into it. We've had a ton of fun with this bad boy. I wanted to show it to y'all in case y'all haven't seen one of these just yet because they're pretty awesome. Now as far as the top right here, I forgot to go over that part. It is literally just vinyl and a blow up part right here with like five or six clips along the edge like boom, boop, 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 and boop and uh, they pop off. They do well to keep the water out. The pump is watertight. Um, if it gets rained on, it's not going to bother it. I put it underneath here because we got a fan and I can sit in it when it's raining, which is pretty cool. So I think I've covered just about everything. It was well worth the money. I hope you guys can check this out. Do some research. I did my research. I looked at everything. Um, it's also called the Salyu Spa, I think. So the Lazy Boy and Salyu Spa, same thing. Um, the company does not make that very clear. I think they changed manufacturers or something but Coleman get on your game with that so I wanted to add that if you're wondering how long this thing stays hot it will stay hot at a decent like it's usually like 80 to 90 degrees around here high 70s it'll stay hot plenty of, it'll stay hot long enough for you to drink beer and hang out and be ready to get out now um, when the bubbles are on it'll it'll drop temperature probably it'll drop about a degree or two for every 20 or 30 minutes and it'll creep its way down to like 101 but uh, you can't hear much when the bubbles are going so we don't keep the bubbles on that long um, we just turn it on do the bubbles and then turn it back off now in the winter if it's like 40 or 50 degrees it'll creep down pretty fast so that's the only downside to um, the 110 usage of this one. It's not a 220. It's not going to stay hot the entire time. It's going to creep its way back down, but for 349 bucks, well worth it. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Comment down below if you have one of these or are looking to have one of these so we can share our, our information, share our knowledge, because that's what YouTube is all about. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this to your buddy if you think he needs one. And follow me on Instagram at Yak Molly and Facebook at Yak Molly. And I'll see you guys later.